Dr. Kwasari, as you can see, all stakeholders in Benin State are here. They prove to you the passion that our people have concerning this matter, including myself. These are the people who made me governor in 2015 and also made it possible for me to be governor in 2019. I cannot leave them. I work with them. I listen to them. I consult with them. And whatever they tell me is what I do. No other person elected me to be governor other than these people that you're seeing here. So, my commitment and allegiance, my guardians and directives <clears throat> is with these people. You convince them, I'm willing to do any line that they direct me. No matter how superior I may think that my wishes and aspirations are, but when they direct me otherwise, I listen to them and work with them because I'm here for the people. <laughs> so I want to commend you. Because right from day one, when we were to harmonize issues of the license transmission plan, after your tour of the entire country, and when we met with the program, I told you for us in Bendo State, you must address our peculiarities and accept that the National Lifestyle Transformation Plan, we're not talking about any other state, must be in line with the law prohibiting open grazing and providing ranching as a process, which is the global best practice. And thank you very much. You accepted it. You took it to the authorities, and it was also accepted. This went through the process and the National Economic Council we adopted it as a model. Other states are free to engage in ruga or open grazing and cattle routes. They are also free to do cattle colony. We have no query. But when it comes to railway state, it is ranching. Yeah. Nothing more than that. We are not going to accept any other thing. Let it be known. And recently, I heard someone who called himself the leader and chairman of Mayati Allah Cotton Hall that governors will not know peace, state will not know peace, except they adopt Ruga and open grazing and so on. Let it be known to him that he is not part of the state. He cannot decide for us what we want in the state. We are in a democratic system of governance in Nigeria. We appreciate the fact that we are in a federation. But the federating units have the right to make laws for the good governance of their federating units. And Belo State have made a law. And anybody that trespass on our law will deal with him according to the law. Let him come here himself, but the let him bring cattle here and he will see what will happen to him. <laughs> I will personally arrest him. <laughs> and the law will take his course. We are law abiding citizens. We respect democracy. We respect the rule of law. We are orderly people. For we know that democracy is anchored on the rule of law. Without that, there will be anarchy. And when there is anarchy, no one knows where you will be. Whether you will be in the grave or you will be in the pigs in the hospital. Because when there is lawlessness and anarchy, nobody is safe. I think that from my experience with National Lifestyle Transformation Prime, they want this. They want the way forward. And I commend you for coming out to denounce the issue of Ruga when there was controversy surrounding Ruga problem 
and uh, lifestyle transformation plan. We heard what you said. You came out and denounced it and said that this is different from what you were doing. And so today we are here to support you that this is welcome because our national livestock development plan that Benway State is keen into we address the peculiarities in Benway State. And the implication is that we can rear our native cows. We can rear cows that are indigenous to Fulani people. And Fulanis are allowed if they want provided they obey the laws of the land. And we can also rear pigs. After all, in the whole world, as far as a Bedouin man and woman is concerned, the sweetest meat ever. We don't know all the meat in the whole world, but pig is second. Pig is the number two meat. So the National Livestock Development Program must address the issue of supporting us to rear pigs here in Benue State. In fact, my desire and vision is to see that Benue State becomes a hub for the production of pigs in Nigeria. So to that extent, we are accepted. And anyone who wants to do livestock business in Benue State must ranch. That is all that we say.